Okay guys, Coffee Tex 2024 Day 3. We are at ID Cooling today. And with me, I have Chloe. She's going to tell us their flagship product. It's a prototype, but I think it's really interesting. Chloe, on to you. Hunter to wear golden lining. This water cooler has one pound and has two radiators. It has two water flow circulation through these two separated 360 millimeter radiator. Okay, so this is the Hunter GDL, okay? The Hunter GDL is ID Cooling's first attempt at having a CPU cooler with two 360 millimeter radiators. That means you've got an overall total of 720 millimeters worth of radiator to cool down your processes, okay? The next one is <coughs> dash floor. This is our dash floor. This is, is our LCD series. LCD series, yes. okay. And what we have here is the dash flow LCD Max. Yes. Okay. It have the 3.5 inch screen in there. Okay. And he has the ge seven generation pump. Okay, so it's using ID Cooling's latest seven generation pumper. Yeah. Okay, and then it has an LCD. It comes in 120, 240, 360. This is 360. We yeah. can do 240 also. Okay. This is our first flow Infinity series. Okay, so over here we have the ID Cooling Frost Flow Infinity series. Okay, it takes the same Infinity mirror design, slapped onto an ID Cooling cooler. Nothing much to shout about, but it looks decent. Okay. The dash flow also looks decent, but I have my eyes set on the Hunter GDL. Let's take a closer look at what that is all about. Okay, over here, we have the ID Cooling SL360 Max. Chloe has just told me that this is a further upgrade than the previous generation space coolers. Yes, it has the same LCD and all that, okay? But what's different in this radiator is that the thickness of the radiator has increased. The previous generation was only 27 millimeters. This is 38 millimeters. I'll be excited to actually give it a test once it's launched. For now, this product is not launched yet. Okay, if you look at the second product here, okay, this is the ID Cooling DX360 Max. It has no RGB on the radiator or the fans. Okay, it doesn't come with magnetic fans like the dash flow. However, the pump is RGB, and it looks kind of cool, uh, if you ask me. Okay, but what's really interesting about the DX360 Max is it comes with a 38 millimeter radiator. Uh, one thing I can tell you is that from what I've been observing here at ID Cooling's booth is that they're moving forward by increasing the thickness of their radiators. Olden generation pumps, older generation radiators were only 27, 24, some, some were even using 24, some were using 27, some were using 28. But ID Cooling is bumping it up to 38 to ensure amazing cooling performance. I'm really excited. I would really love to get my hands on this once it launch. Okay, guys. ID Cooling is going like that. They're going upwards. The, the trajectory is going up from making CPU coolers, AIOs, air coolers, fans. Next, they're going to launch are NVMe drives. They've got from 256GB, 512GB, 1TB. Okay. It comes with NAND, Flash. I don't know, man. I think it's a good attempt. Okay. I'm trying to get my hands on one of them so I can actually test and review it. 
let's just see how it goes. But yeah, guys. Sorry, I dropped it. But yeah, coming soon near you.